This is the video lesson for Unit 1.7a, Introduction to Position Time Graphs. The learning intention for this lesson is, I am learning to read and understand position time graphs. The success criteria for this lesson are, I can tell the important parts of a position time graph. describe what the slope of a PT graph tells us about an object's motion. And I can describe what direction an object is moving based on the object's PT graph. So let's look at what's what on a position time graph. So the slope on a position time graph is going to tell us the velocity or speed of the motion that is being explained on the graph. So when you calculate the slope of the graph, so if we have a position time graph here, when you calculate the slope of this graph, that's gonna tell you the velocity. You can tell um, what the motion is like uh, by looking at the slope. So if you have a constant slope, you're gonna have constant velocity or speed. Likewise, if you have a changing slope, you're going to have changing velocity or changing speed. And we're going to look at some examples of this. Okay, so here we have a position time graph. We have on the x-axis is going to be our time. On the y-axis is where we would put our position. And then here is a line uh, that makes up the position time graph. So as the time changes, the position changes. So we move uh, from, so at five seconds, the object has traveled a little bit over, let's say, uh, two meters. So this point here is five seconds and a little bit over two meters, let's say 2.1 uh, meter or so. It doesn't really matter. Um, so. As stated before, when we calculate the slope of this line, that's going to give us the, the velocity. So remember that slope is equal to rise over run. So we have the rise here. And here, we have the run. All right, so this is just an example. Now, this is a constant slope. So we have a straight line. So either if you measure the slope here or you measure it up here, you're going to have the same slope. So that's how we know it's a constant slope. And so we have a constant slope. So we have a constant velocity. All right, let's look at another example. Here we have a changing, a changing slope. So if we measure the slope right here, and we measure the slope at this point, uh, and then we measure the slope again at this point, you see that we have a changing slope. So we have this curved line, which has a changing slope. So the changing slope is going to equal a changing velocity. Let's continue looking at what's what on a PT graph, position time graph. So we're going to calculate the slope to find the velocity. So if you want to know the, the numerical value of the velocity, you're going to calculate the slope. And that's going to tell you the actual numerical value of the, of the slope or of the velocity. And you can just look at the velocity and determine whether the, the slope is going or whether the velocity is going to be positive, negative, or if you're going to have a zero uh, velocity, meaning the object is standing still. So a positive slope 
means that the motion of the object is, is going in the forward direction. And we can determine what that is. Uh, if you have a negative slope, the motion of the object is in the backward direction or a negative direction. And then a zero slope, so a flat line, means that we have no motion whatsoever. The object is standing still. All right, let's take a look at it, a couple more examples. So here we have a positive slope. So positive slope means that we have a positive velocity. So this velocity is going in a positive direction or it is going um, forward. We can say the, the object is moving in a forward direction. Uh, whatever we determine that to be. Usually objects move from left to right. That's usually the forward direction. And then reverse would be from right to left. Uh, and then on this half, from 12 seconds to the end to 18 seconds, uh, the object is moving. Uh, it has a negative slope. negative slope, so it has a negative velocity. Which means it is running in the reverse direction. So we have a positive slope, means a positive velocity, means it's going forward. A negative slope, a negative velocity, means it's going in reverse. So you can think about a car uh, pulling um, into a parking space, for example. So we have the car getting ready to pull into a parking space. Sorry about my car. So it's pulling into the parking space. It is moving in a forward direction. So it has a positive velocity. When the car gets ready to leave uh, and you're pulling out of your parking space, it's gonna have a negative velocity because it's moving in a negative direction. All right, one last position time graph where we look at an object that has lots of different kinds of motion. So here we have a positive slope so we have positive motion. So positive slope, positive velocity. Here we have a zero slope. The object is just standing still. So zero slope, no motion. And if you think about this, it makes sense. So as time ticks off, so we're sitting here from four seconds to six seconds. So your position here is on the uh, Y axis. So you're sitting here at the position of four meters. And as time clicks off, clicks off four, five, six, you don't move from this position of four, of four meters. So for those two seconds, you're not moving. From, from the position of four meters. So the fact that you're not moving indicates that you're not, uh, you don't have any motion. So therefore you have uh, zero slope, no motion. All right, here you have a negative velocity, a negative slope, means you're moving in a negative, it means you have a negative velocity. And then finally down here, you have a zero slope again. Zero slope means you have no motion. Okay, and we're gonna look at this in more detail, um, figuring out the slope exactly and uh, what all of this uh, means on a position time graph in the next lesson as well. Um, so once you've finished watching the video and taking the guided notes and doing the assignment, you can take the exit ticket and move on to the next, to the next lesson. Remember everybody, keep asking questions. It's how you learn new things.